Video games have gone too far. First they ask for your pronouns. What's next? Here are your wokest answers. Oh yeah, yesterday I asked you. They're gonna ask if you've got any games on your phone. Like a toddler. <laughs> no, but do you? Your Wattpad reading list. Do people still Wattpad? Is that still a thing? I'm not gonna look it up, because I don't want that search history. Next, they ask you what you want to name your character. God forbid they ask for your name and not, <laughs> and not your gun preference. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> These woke <laughs> games. If I knew more about guns, I'd have a very funny retort for this answer. They'll ask how <laughs> They'll ask how many Discord kittens I have. A lot. They'll never come after my kittens, my sweet. If they ever come from my Discord kittens, they're gonna have to answer to lefty and righty. There's now a slider of how asthmatic the character is. It adds a whole new level of immersion when your character is coughing and wheezing after doing the mildest of activities. The woke mob is gonna add a worse stamina bar. They're gonna start asking for your star sign so they can change the story so it fits you. Wait, <laughs> I hate horoscope stuff, like, with every fiber of my being. This is kind of a neat idea. You get the Sagittarius ending, or the Cancer ending. I'm okay with this. This is just woke enough. They're gonna make you solve a CAPTCHA to prove you're not a bot. But the catch is that one of the pictures is your house. What if it's like a really good game though? Like, yeah, they have my personal information, but I really want to play Starfield too. They can see where I live, that's fine. Next they'll ask if you want your hentai censored or uncensored. Oh, that really riles me up. It should always be censored. Leaves more to the imagination. Makes it sexier. You're welcome. I'm not wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong in the comments. Hentai should be censored. It's hotter. It's hotter. I never want that choice. <laughs> I'm not strong enough to make that choice. <laughs> this one comes from Lion Sexist. Take that as you will. They're going to require that you make an account on the blockchain to play your game, and you must pay through niche cryptocurrency. Are people still uh, cryptoing out there? This absolutely already exists, though. I think there are more than a handful of, like, crafty crypto games out there. This isn't even a joke. Every single day on Twitter, I'm still calling it Twitter, by the way, I will never, ever call it that. When I wake up, the number one or two trending topics are f crypto terms, weird cryptocurrencies or crypto hashtags, every single day, which means there are absolutely enough suckers that already get sucked into this exact game. So nice try, lion sexist. Next they ask you for if you are Team Jacob or Team Edward. Depending on your answer, they discriminate whether or not you get the good ending, lol. It's like the horoscope one, but worse. Were you Team Edward or Team Jacob? Edward. Yeah. That was weird, wasn't it? Fell in love with the baby, imprinted the baby. Messed up. I was team, why'd they split the last one in two? I hate that trend. I hate it with every everything. Movies shouldn't end on cliffhangers. TV, that's fine. Movies, no. That's my lukewarm take. Snore. It's snore because it's lukewarm. A hot take would be something like, I think Wes Anderson's overrated. <laughs> that's a hot take. Is it? Uh, yeah, everyone loves Wes Anderson. We both do not care for Grand Budapest Hotel and some of the other ones. I liked Royal Tenenbaums though. Don't tell Aaron that. I doubt it. I don't even know if I believe you. First pronouns, next verbs, then adjectives, finally adverbs. It's a part of the four-way system to teach people basic English. Not in my video games. I'm not here to learn. I don't like people talking at me in video games. I'm not here to watch a movie. I'm here to stomp Goombas, Koopas, and anyone that looks at me funny. I don't want lore. I don't want a backstory. That's why I'm never gonna play Starfield. I heard they had like 250,000 lines of recorded dialogue. That sounds like hell. I wanna play my games, not listen at my games. I don't wanna be talked at for 100 hours. I got enough of that from Aaron. What? Oh, shut up. <laughs> But yeah, no more sentences in my video games. I want one word grunts. If my mission objectives can't be summarized with like a character pointing and grunting, I won't play it. If you're forklift certified, that's a pretty cool flex. If you can operate a forklift, let me know in the comments below. I wanna shake your hand. Grand Theft Auto 6 will make you take a breathalyzer test to drive cars. Yeah, I want that controller. Remember the Nintendo DS? Some early games made use of its built-in microphone and made you blow into the DS? Do you remember that? No, you don't. 
You're probably too young to remember that. Mario Kart for the Nintendo DS. There are many games where you had to blow into the mic to inflate your balloon, and it sucked. It was kind of like a breathalyzer. <laughs> Next, they'll ask where you, <laughs> where you were on January 6th, 2021. I know exactly where I was. I was trying to save my country. That's what I put in the little text box. I'd write a five page essay on how I was trying to reinstate democracy in my beloved land. Wait, why are there sirens? Games should ask whether you put the milk, cereal, or bowl first. We want as much personal info as we can get. This is kind of like a captcha, like a little puzzle. If your first answer isn't bull, they should make the game less fun to penalize you for trying to be edgy and random and goofy. You should be punished. Next, they're gonna ask you to name three Nirvana songs. All right, that's fine, I'm a millennial. I know this. Heart-shaped box, smells like teen spirit. Uh-oh. Oh no. Lithium? Yeah, but I can still play the video game. Ozer. That's fine. As long as I can play Banjo-Kazooie 3. That would make sense. They're like, prove it. Prove you're an actual millennial that would appreciate the third Banjo-Kazooie game by naming three Nirvana songs. Oh, Rare or Nintendo. Who owns Banjo? I don't uh -huh. know who owns Banjo anymore. We all do. Banjo should be in the public domain so I can make my pregnant fan art in peace. Go, go. Next. They'll ask you to actually be respectful to other players. Boo. I think showing disrespect to other players is a sign of respect in itself. It's a language we all speak, we being gamers. They're gonna ask if I'm okay. I'm not. What are your pronouns? Are you okay? Name three Nirvana songs. Like, no, I'm not okay. It's why I'm playing video games. <laughs> Duh. I went through like a really deep Elden Ring addiction phase and it got to the point where it should have been like Netflix at my 300th hour a window should have popped up saying hey are you still actually playing Elden Ring that would have been a fun little reality check for me just something to consider game devs they're going to ask if they can have a little kissy just one never hurts to ask do they call you a discord kitten in doing so come come my discord kitten just one kissy I've been ever so good. You wouldn't want to see my bad side, would you? <laughs> when the claws come out, I'm quite the tiger. They'll ask for you to actually play the game before rage quitting at the title screen. <laughs> Too hard. Well, to be fair, if the title screen says press start, that's tough because controllers don't really have a start button anymore. The PlayStation controller? Where the f*** is the start button on the PlayStation controller? What? So yeah. I think it's fine if you rage quit at the title screen. Let's normalize that. I got 30 minutes into God of War Ragnarok before um, basically rage quitting. Not because it was too hard, but because I didn't want to relearn all of the controls and my muscle memory just wasn't kicking in. So this is real, so I just stopped, I put down the controller, found a seven hour YouTube video of all the cutscenes to basically like tell the story like a movie. I watched that over a few nights and I was like, yep, Got the God of War Ragnarok experience. So that's my very saddest example of um, rage quitting. First they ask for your pronouns. Then they ask what their, <laughs> what their grandson's name is. Then they ask you to choose between three Pokemon. I never played Pokemon, but I do, I get this reference. I've seen that tweet shared around a lot of Professor Oak, I wanna say saying, are you a boy or a girl? Yeah, I love Pokemon. It's tough to choose a favorite. Do you have a favorite Pokemon, honey? Tiddlywinks. Tiddlywinks, that's a cool one. That's a win-based one. <laughs> the last time you cried. That's great, that's healthy. Video games should ask this more, and we should be more honest with ourselves. Last time I cried, for example, <clears throat> I don't know. Next, they're gonna ask you not to scream slurs in voice chat. Oh, the horror. God, they're just sucking out all the joy. This woke mob. The scariest thing about this answer is that the council <laughs> labeled it slurs one, which means there's at least a part two. Next, they'll ask you for your blood type. Those woke liberal vampires aren't getting this out of me again. I think knowing your own blood type is quite the privilege and quite the flex. What if you have a fear of needles, Aaron? Sounds like you need a therapist, Jack. 
I'm not saying me personally. I tried donating blood once years ago and I didn't have the right paperwork or like a name didn't match or something. Three people just died listening to that excuse. No! This game asked me if I have attention problems. I selected yes, and now it, sh and now it shows Subway Surfers gameplay on the side of my screen every time I open the game. Wait, that's actually great. That could be a fun challenge for games to incorporate. Little pop-up windows of like looping video, like Subway Surfers gameplay. Wait, I love this. You know what was hard to play back in my day? DDR, Dance Dance Revolution. Where you going? You know why? Hi. Cause you're trying Where's to concentrate on the Where's arrows, the hitting the empty arrows. But there's a whole freaking okay, music here. video happening, baby. Whoa! And, it's, and sometimes the music video looks really cool, you and you couldn't now. pay attention no, no. to it because you're too busy dancing your heart out. I, 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 I got so many chicks playing DDR. <sighs> Every time I play DDR, Erin has to excuse herself because it's just too hot. <laughs> we always say, <laughs> once you get the ick, there's no going back. Next, they're gonna start questioning me about that man from the alley and how I supposedly mutilated him and how I apparently need to be taken in for questioning. Liberals, God, this used to be a free country. Nope. Now it's going down the toilet. It's Jover, it's so Jover. The obvious next step is toe factor identification. Oh. Just got it, like two, got it. Do toes have prints like fingerprints? Yeah, they do, look at that. I'm not sure I knew that till just now. The more you toe. <laughs> I want a gamer chair that's set up and rigged so that like the game won't start on the little monitor that's obviously attached to the gamer chair until it identifies all 10 of your fingerprints and all 10 of your toe prints. And then it says like in a voice, Welcome, Michael. Are you ready to play Grand Theft Auto 7? That would be pretty epic. I don't know, man. Maybe you shouldn't have skipped the tutorial, loser. I will say, going off on yet another tangent, I do think tutorials should be optional and even tucked away and accessed only if you really want it. You know what video game did tutorials right? That's right. Elden Ring. Literally had to fall down a hole for the tutorial to kick in. Perfect. Most people played and beat Elden Ring without even knowing there was a tutorial. Just food for thought. First Mario game, Super Mario Brothers, like the very first one for the NES. Is there a tutorial? No! Level 1-1 is the tutorial. It teaches the player everything they need to know. It's perfect. When that Goomba comes in, it's fight or flight. Do you jump over it? Do you jump on top of it? Perfect tutorial. Nowadays, the woke mob, they want to put tutorials in everything. Next, they'll send you a late night text saying, you up? And then cool little emojis, eggplant. Mobile games already do that though. Basically, in a sense. Maybe not as literally as this, but. They ask if you've had a shower in the last two weeks. And if you have, no playing for you. Insert Smash Brothers player joke here. Why them? Like, why did we single them out as like the smelly gamers? Smash Brothers tournament players specifically. Okay, first, no, you're wrong. And there is no second. Aaron played about 30 seconds of Smash Ultimate and then put the controller down and said, I don't like this. I don't get it. Can we put on a movie? It's stupid. <laughs> Actually, it's a technical masterpiece. Sweaty. The game has Banjo-Kazooie in it and you're gonna say it sucks. Unbelievable. Ugh, next they'll ask me for a good yai answer. Truly can't be bothered. It's me, hi, I'm the game, it's me. They ask if you've had sex recently and if you click yes, it, <laughs> it uninstalls the game instantly. <laughs> Bye. I love that over a hundred people agreed with this. Oh, I have a question for you. Just kidding, no I don't. <laughs> um, I don't know how to end this one. We 